Hi, this is Congressman Jeff Fortenberry. I'm standing in the historic Statuary Hall of the United States Capitol, proudly by Chief Standing Bear, the new statue from Nebraska that represents us to the rest of America. Uh, I wanted to give you a quick overview of what is happening in the House of Representatives this week. I just came from the floor in a very important vote about starting an impeachment process against the President of the United States. Since the beginning, I've been very concerned that this entire process has been tainted by the ugliness of hate and division. And now, after secret hearings, I'm being asked to give it a veneer of civility and order. And that's just not right. This process will continue now and possibly move to the United States Senate after several more votes. But in spite of that, taking up most of the oxygen in the room in the United States Capitol, there's been a number of constructive outcomes this week. We debated important lands bills that affect various areas of the United States. I serve on the Appropriations Committee, just came from a committee meeting in which we discussed how we move forward to avoid a government shutdown, get the budget process in order, pass some of the bills that are absolutely critical, especially in national security, off at Air Force Base, others, other things, that, other areas that have been affected by floods, highly, highly important processes going on behind the scenes here. This week, we've also met with representatives who basically promote and give rise to consciousness around the devastating disease of ALS, which affects so many millions of Americans, many, many Americans. And we're trying to work quickly towards some resolution as to how we align public policy with the possibility of cures. In addition to that, we keep again projecting out as to how we keep this country safe. Perhaps the biggest news of the week that was that our troops killed a person named al-Baghdadi. He led ISIS. ISIS is responsible for the genocide against Christians and Yazidis and innocent Muslim people across the Middle East. They devastated Syria and Iraq. Our concern is, even though their leader is now gone due to the diligence, hard work, courage, and sacrifice of America's troops, nonetheless, that ISIS 2.0 could reemerge. That's why it's so critical to have a transition plan. I have the Iraqi security resolution that we're working very hard to get through the House of Representatives. It's also embedded in our defense bill. It's a lot of details, I know that, but I wanted to give you a full breath of what has happened in the United States of House of Representatives this week. And it's, of course, it's always a great honor to serve you here in this great body.